Okay, guys, I wanted to show you a little bit of uh, how this one's turning out. There we go. It's uh, Jonathan's uh, model car guys group build of the drag drag cars. And uh, this is how this one's turning out so far. I haven't got it done yet, but it's it's getting there. Here he is. Hi, Jonathan. Oh, how you doing, Jonathan? How does that look with the root beer? Root beer candy and the red windows? It's doing good. Doing good. good. Looks awesome. Okay, thanks. I'm going to see if I can get up in the air a little bit. Wow, look at that. Trying to get it centered a little bit. It's so shiny. There, you can kind of see the the um, scales, the, like the fish. Glittery, scales. glittery fabulousness. Glittery fabulousness. Oh, that, he got his nova done today. Let's see if I get this down here. Excellent. This one here, I want to get some a lot of detail on the motor. I don't think the motor's even, yeah, the motor's not in this one yet. But I did get it ready to kind of pose it and uh, not stage it. What do they call that? When you put just parts together and, well, I, I was able to say it before on a different model. That blue one, when I held it up. This build video is being uploaded. Awesome. Oh, okay. We'll be uh, sure to watch it when it's done. Yeah, Tammy said that one's looking really neat. Let's see if I can. Okay. Yeah, Tammy wanted to show the new shirt that she got me. It's not tie-dye. <laughs> no, it's a bargain, bargain shirt from Walmart. It was only a dollar. <laughs> That's the right price for me, that's for sure. Um, it's cheaper than a yard sale. This looks like it's out of focus. No. Now it's better, way better. Got Fuels Model Car Garage says beautiful paint work, bro. Oh, thank you very much. I'm going to switch it over to the uh -huh. uh -oh. <laughs> technical difficulties. Okay. You're tearing it apart. You're tearing <laughs> it apart. That's rebel without a clue. There we go. Let's see if that's. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Red windows. Man. Yeah, this is the model that didn't have windows. I just got this one. I got it from eBay. And the reason why it was so cheap, it wasn't. But uh, the engine block, one of the two engines, the block was glued together, so they considered it started, and it was missing the windows. So it was sold as a buy it now with the free shipping, but it was it was under twenty bucks. So that's that's the price for me. Got fuels asked, do you use automotive urethane? Yes. Yeah. And then Todd H. Lugnuts Hot Rod Garage says, awesome paint job. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been wet sanding it yesterday. Got it buffed out. I was wanting to clear a model yesterday. Oh, little Just, Zoe. Zoe wanted to come through. Jonathan said, I saw one model kit at Walmart the other day. Oh. Oh, I didn't know they still sold models well, yeah. there. Yeah, I looked at Walmart several times before, and it's like, Man, I sure miss that they that they used to sell them in the 80s, and then they stopped for years. Next time I go in there, I'll have to take a look around. Let me see if I can get this up in the air to look over the top of it. Leadhead Custom Plastics is cool 57. Very oh, slick. Thank you, Leadhead. A lot of pearl in it. 
than tangerine candy. And this camera, I don't think, picks it up, but all the way around all the edges, I shot root beer candy. So when the sun comes out, eventually, I'll have to do everything all again or maybe um, record that on Tammy's phone. That seems to do the color better. But uh, this one here didn't have windows. I just got done making the windows out of uh, red acetate. Now, it kind of matches this other one over here. So now they both have red windows and root beer and tangerine. That sounds yummy. <laughs> yeah, it does. In fact, when you spray it, it it, it, uh, it smells smells like candy. Let's see. Let that spin around a few times. It is really out of focus. It's so shiny. There. There it is. That's so much better. Yeah. We're running out of room in here. We no. need to get more shelves. Yeah, we got to get a shelf because <laughs> now they're just going to go back into their model boxes, I guess. Pepper Shaker. I like that name, Jonathan Sides. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the decals that came with it, and they were all ruined. Um, even the fins, all the... Uh, had a lot of cracks in it. You can kind of tell when it spins around that it had the cracks. But I used a clear coat from a can, um, I think, uh, Rust-Oleum. And I sprayed it on there and then used them. And I think it was a passenger door. It just all crumbled anyway. It's coming around to the passenger side. His I like name, the name Pepper Shaker, too. His name on the top of the door, it completely cracked, and I had to put it on there in tiny little pieces, even though I cleared it and I prepared prepared it the right way. Yeah, I was real happy with it. It looks sharp. I like it. It does. i got to build the engine yet for it. It's got a 409, and it's got one of the plastic axles that go through the engine, so I haven't glued the front wheels, so they got a terrible negative camber. But I just wanted to kind of pose it and stage it a little bit. Let me see if I can back this up that just That fuel here. says, check carny plastic for display case. Yeah, I need, oh, I see, for displaying a big, a big lot of these because there's a lot of them that need, that need a good shelf. See, or we need a bigger place. <laughs> That, prob no wall space. that probably isn't going to happen. Okay, now the tires are finally on this one. There we go. And then that one's under a 1,000 subs group build, and that's how it's going. And I have till the end of this month with this one to – I got the spark plug wires. Oh, wow. That pattern. Yes. Cool beans. Cool beans. <laughs> Warm weather is upon us, so you know what that means. Slacking down on building model cars. Well, it, it's a good hobby for the winter. winter if you live in a place like we do. Winter in Illinois is not fun. No, Tammy calls it ill and annoying. Ill annoy. Illinois. <laughs> Oh, you can buy anything from a single case, which are highly priced, or a 24-count display case. Well, it's always going to just stand in the way. Todd says, where in Illinois are you guys? South of Chicago, um, about 87 miles outside it, um, right to the south and a little west of Chicago. I was, I was raised out on a farm. Uh, for my whole childhood. Tammy lived out in the country, but she lived like in the woods. We lived out on, on a farm, a functioning farm. Oh, Todd Bloodnut says he was born in Belleville by St. Louis. That's where my yes. dad was born. Yeah. St. Louis. Yeah, her dad was, uh, they moved from St. Louis after a tornado took the house when they were at school. They came home and didn't have anywhere to live. Then they moved up here to just south of Chicago, and that's how I met Tammy. 
mom was born and raised there. In Bellevue. I, you know what? I'm sure I drove through there on my way to St. Louis. Oh, I'm sure you did. I'm sure I did. I think I did, too, a long time ago. My grandparents born and raised there. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> well, that's those three cars I wanted to show. Huh? No, see? See if I can catch it with that again. Because that's kind of the one I wanted to feature. Hun, do you know what Mr. Upscale's first name is? Um, I can't keep track of all of them. Bruce? He said hi to me. He says that clear coat looks great. Well, thank you. I wet sanded it yesterday. It really didn't have a lot of flaws in it, but as it gasses out, it, um, it'll start to not be orange peely, but it's not quite perfect like it was when you first spray it. So I, I do end up, I do end up uh, color sanding them and buffing them. I didn't have to do anything with the hood and I see a couple, couple specks of dust in that, but it's, it's not bad. I can live with it. The problem with the hood is it's got those hood pins. If I start messing around, <laughs> futzing around with that, then it's gonna, it's gonna sand through one of the hood pins. I, my luck is not not that great. And I don't have any patience at all. So, Jonathan says, but I have fun in the summer because I go to my local county fairs and post videos on YouTube on my other channel, County Fair Guy. That would be nice. Yeah, me and Tammy watched some of the tractor pulling ones that you had recorded yesterday. She she likes the monster trucks and the tractor pulls. Yeah. And myself, <laughs> I like the quarter scale tractors like the old guys make on their lathe and then out of lawnmower engine and stuff and then i built one of an oliver back in 04 and i built it for my daughter to drive in parades and uh, i got rid of it before she could do that which was kind of bizarre took me about a year and a half to build it but i i like the quarter scale Little tractors. That that one was a 1952 Oliver Super 77, which is an off-brand. And the only reason I did the off-brand is that way I could build it, and it wasn't going to be a single color like a farm all. Because if it was going to be just a single color like the Ferris Bueller's Day Off Ferrari was going to be just red, it took me 10 years, and I never got it finished. I got a lot of the parts, but I never did get it done because when it's done, it's only going to be one color. One color doesn't do it for me. The 52 Oliver was going to be red, green, and yellow. So it had the most colors out of any antique tractor. Larry's model shop says that paint is looking super nice. Love that red. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's um, candy tangerine. And then I have that root beer around the edges. And I don't think this... I don't think this camera quite picks it up like it in real life. It's stunning, but you can't really. I want a car like that in real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get your uh, car, drag it over here, and I'll paint it. No, I like my old lady car the way it is. Oh. Baby blue. Uh, Jonathan says this year at one of my local county fairs, they are having garden tractor pulls this year. There you go. Now, see, I get into that. And. I thought there was a, a three Hemis that were on that tractor that you were telling me about yesterday, Jonathan. And I went and took a look. And I'm like, no, those are they're big block Chevys. They're big rat motors. There's three of them. Doesn't hers HHQ said better listen to the missus there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she keeps me on a short leash. No, she, she don't. No, she's a doll. <laughs> No, nope. we've been together for 12 years now. We get along really good. Yeah, I didn't get Most along. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we get along excellent. She really is the other half of me. She's a speed reader. By the age of two, she could read a newspaper and comprehend it. I still, I still can't read and comprehend what I read. So she reads everything for me. She really is the other half of me. That's that is for sure. Well, you're the other half of me. Well, there you if go. If you lack in one area, the other one leaks off. 
Yeah, which is, I think, how it's supposed to be. Because my first wife I was married to for 13 unlucky years, she wasn't for me. She was very much against me. Anything that I did, she was always against it. Boy, I was hoping that front end would turn out better in the camera. The reason why is because that tangerine with root beer is just, it's, it's done to where it's just gorgeous. But I don't see it on the camera. I don't see it on the TV. I see it in person. And this lighting, it looks great. Okay, well, I guess I guess that's about it. I can't think of uh, too many other things that I got going on. But I did want to get you caught up on all this stuff here and what it's looking like. Oh, models in here. Hey, buddy. Hello, oh, Ed. How you doing? Yeah. Excellent. Mr. Upscale says paint jobs look great. Camera's working great, too. Thank you. It's a new camera. This is my second video on it. Yeah. <laughs> And it's working way better than the other one. It doesn't go out of focus as much, but I don't think it really captures that color. Watch out, Zoe. <laughs> model shop says, geesh, gotta bust out my shades with all these unreal looking cars. There you go. Yeah, I could dig out some of my psychedelic painted ones and bloodbath and <laughs> and uh, what do we got? Well, the tie-dye painted ones. That were hydro painted. That's something I'll be getting into now that the weather's getting warmer. Bust out my tie dye soon. Let's see. I can grab this model and put it on there. Oh, got fuel says I'm out. It's almost dinner and bedtime. Okay, got fuel. It's good to see you here. Enjoy have the rest of your evening. Have a great night. Can't read the, can't read the um, comments because Zoe's Zoe. right in the middle. Oh, of it. Zoe. Can't <laughs> read it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His and hers. Sucks. What does, what does it say? I see my name, but okay. When is your next video coming up? Out, Tammy. Oh, she's got to do a paint job of the Milky Way. Yeah, I using, promised. Using like a spatter effect, using a toothbrush. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe Friday. I kind of wanted to start one this morning, but we had some scary weather. My poor mom was panicking about tornado watches and whatnot. So I was a little nervous this morning and lost my gumption to, to do a painting. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Friday. Now, there was Bloodbath. That one was a group build with um, 60s Rule with um, Dan the Man. And that one really does look like a Bloodbath. Let me see if I can get it to look at it better like this. It's waves of blood like going across. I told Tammy at one point, I said, it looks like waves of blood going across a beach, but it's not. It's like white blood cells, oh. red blood cells and white blood cells and waves going under over each another under a microscope and waves. Let me see if I can get it. For I you. think it looks like an Easter egg. Oh, an Easter egg. Yeah. Pretty. That is. Yeah, that's a work of art there. This and her says, I love that build. I enjoyed that GB with Dan Domino. Yes. Yeah, that was a good one. I'll be looking forward to um, seeing it again and doing it again maybe next year. The um, psychedelic build. Yeah, that was fun. I like that. That was, yeah, Tammy did one too. Let's see. This one was in that. I think that one is in the other room. There's one Tammy. Did. That was her first one she did, the hydro dip. 
No, let's see. I gotta go move it back just a hair. Oh, uh, Jonathan says after I build a BTS Dodge Ram, I will just I will build Christine. Christine. For you, Tammy. That's one of my favorite movies. Thank you so much. It will be in May though. No rush. Work at your own pace, kiddo. I don't mind. Yeah, with the weather being so much nicer, it is nice to get outside and get some stuff done. Yeah, I wish I could have a garden here. Mm. I'd so put a garden in them. But that's okay. I think I'll get out and wax Tammy's car for her because she's going to want to get her license. She's never had a license. She's 53 years old and never had a license. And um, I've been kind of prodding her to get it done. Yep. Never had a license because I got scared when I was in high school. A friend of mine that rode the bus with me had an accident with her brother when uh, she got her license the first week. And it ended up killing her brother. And she became a um, quadriplegic. quadriplegic. So it really do scare me. But I'm over it. I'm getting over that now. And I mean, that was a long time ago. And people drive so terribly out there today. Uh, mainly just going to get my license so I can go see my my grandkids and see my mom and go to Walmart. That's about it. <laughs> Yay, Walmart. And maybe someday take a vacation. I'd love to be able to go to Florida again. Well, thank you, his and hers. Yep. Yeah. I haven't done too many builds with them. Yeah, Wally's World. I haven't been there since I was 17. <laughs> yep, she painted the two cars. The other one, I stole the rear tires off of for one of my builds. I think it was this under a thousand group build. Um, is there, there them stock cars and NASCAR rear uh, NASCAR tires? Uh oh, I'll go, a ring. I'll go snag it. Probably spam. <laughs> yeah. Just put it on. Oh, it's my daughter. daughter. Okay, well, I'll let you go, guys, and, and Hi, thank honey. you so much for showing up. I really appreciate it, guys. You got the okay? Oh, awesome, honey.